both Russell Westbrook and LeBron James were in the gym and they never talked to each other, which is weird to me. Yeah, at least in public. Well, there's two elements to this. I think you would have to be the world's most naive person not to hear all the trade talk. Russ is moving forward as if he's not getting traded. Right. You know, he's, he was on the bench. He was coaching people up. He was at uh, Darvin Ham's press conference. Russ is doing all the things you do if you're going to be a part of the team. Uh, he may not be. The fact, though, that LeBron notices appearances more than anybody. Sure. So he probably had to know that, that this it was, was going to be weird. a thing. Yeah. Now, I mentioned earlier that I covered the entire Shaq-Kobe years, and those two didn't like each other. At least while they played, they made up later. But you're not suggesting that LeBron James and Russell Westbrook don't like each other. I think that there's, there's something going on, right? Because that's the guy LeBron wanted, right. right? I mean, LeBron signed off on that trade. Uh, but what I am suggesting is it doesn't matter if they like each other. It, it, right. And, and because they, it, you know, teammates... Shaq and Kobe went to three straight finals and won them. All. Right. Maybe these guys ran each other in the back and neither one of them were talking, so you don't know. But I don't think it's as big of a deal as other people. Do you think it's a big deal? I think it's a really bad look. It's sort of incumbent on LeBron to find a way to make this work. He's the guy that helped make the trade. 